رضا آپ امام مشیر سے براہ راست آپ دیکھ رہے ہیں اور خدا لانت کرے منصور دوان کی پر کہ جس نے مولا امام جعفر صادق علیہ السلام کو سیر دے کر شہید کیا اور ہمارے بہت ہی تہہ دل سے مشکور ہیں قبلہ علامہ مولانا سید ابراد نقوی صاحب کے کہ وہ ہمیشہ جب بھی ان کو امامیہ مشن نے آواز دی تو انہوں نے اس پر اللہ پیک کا اور ہماری دعوت پر ہمیشہ وہ ہماری مجالس میں شرکت کرتے ہیں مولا پت پائی کو سلامت رکھیں ان کے انہوں نے ان کی دینی خدمات اتنی زیادہ ہیں کہ میں اگر ان کا لسٹ آپ کو بتانا شروع کروں تو بہت ویل ٹائم چاہیے ہوگا اور آپ دیکھ رہے ہوں گے کہ ماشاءاللہ اتنی کم عمر ہونے کے باوجود انہوں نے اتنی مذہب حقہ کی تبلیغ کی اپنی پوری دنیا میں کہ آپ نے جیسا رمضان میں بھی دیکھا اور دوسری ہمارے جو پروگرام آن لائن چل رہے ہیں اس میں بھی قبلہ آج بھی الحمدللہ دو تین پروگراموں میں اپنا خطاب کر کے تو ہمارے پاس بھی تشریف لائے ہیں مولا پنج پائن کو سلامت رکھے قبلہ مولانا سید عبراد نقوی صاحب سے گزارش کریں گے کہ وہ رونک ممبر ہوں اور انگلش میں اپنا خطاب فرمائیں آج کے دن کی دن کے کی موقع کی مناسبت سے درد پڑی محمد و علی محمد کی ذات پر اللہم صلی اللہ محمد و علی محمد و جل فرج بسم اللہ قبلہ اعوذ باللہ من الشیطان الرجیم بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم الحمدللہ رب العالمین السلاة والسلام على سید الاشرف الانبیاء والمرسلین حبیب الہ العالمین الذی قیلا فی شانه وما ارسلنا قا الا رحمت للعالمین اعنی اب القاسم محمد اللہم صلی علی محمد و آل محمد و صلاة و السلام علی اہل التیبین التاہرین المعصومین المنتجبین و لعنت اللہ علی اعدائہم اجمعین قال عز و جل فی قرآن المجید والفرقان الحمید بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم یا ایوہ الذین آمنوا اتقوا اللہ وکونوا مع الصادقین صدق اللہ العلی العظیم For the forgiveness of our sins And the sins of our forefathers, can we have a loud salawat upon Muhammad and all Muhammad? Allahumma salli ala Muhammad wa ala Muhammad. Today is the 15th of Shawwal, and as you all know, today is the shahadat of Imam Jafar Sadiq alayhi salatu wa salam. And Imamiya Mission London UK have organized this Majlis Aza so that through the Zikr of Muhammad and Ali Muhammad wasalam, through the remembrance of Muhammad and Ali Muhammad wasalam, we can bring a change into our lives, we can bring a change in our society. Imam Jafar Sadiq is known as Al Sadiq. And when we look at the Imams that Allah Azzawajal has blessed us with, the 14 Masumin that have been sent as guides for us, every single Imam is Sadiq for us. And from all of the infallible Imams that we have, it is Imam Jafar Sadiq wasalam, who is known as Al Sadiq. It is very important that when Allah Azzawajal introduces something very important, He always uses 
a important personality to tell the people what the importance of that situation is. Or what is the importance of that personality that Allah Azawajal is introducing to us? We see that when we recite and when we listen to Hadith al Kisa, Allah Azawajal, when He is introducing to the world, when He is telling His angels who are underneath. The Qisa, when Jibreel والسلام, asks Allah Azawajal, Man tahta al Qisa, Allah Azawajal could have said that, O oh, Jibreel, it is Muhammad who is underneath the Qisa, it is Ali who is underneath the Qisa. But what does Allah Azawajal say? And this is a clear message to us. And we understand the fazilat and the azmat of Sayyida Fatima to Zahra by this verse. When Jibreel says, Man taht al qisa, O Lord, who is underneath the cloak? Allah Azawajal says, O Jibreel, it is Fatima who is underneath the cloak. It is her father, it is her husband, and it is her sons who are underneath the cloak. Allah Azawajal tells the world the azmat and the fazilat of Fatima to Zahra. And we see that throughout the life of Khatimul Anbiya sallallahu alayhi wa alayhi wa sallam, the Holy Prophet again and again is telling the world, what is the azmat of Sayyida Fatima to Zahra? The Holy Prophet is reminding the world what is the fazilat of Ali Muhammad wassalam. And this is why throughout the world today we have many sects in the world. They have their own Imams and they are all known through which Imam they follow. We have those that follow Imam Abu Hanifa and they are known as the Hanfis. We have those that follow Imam Shafi, they are known as Shafis. We have those that follow Imam Hanbal, they are known as Hanbalis. Why is it that when it comes to those that follow Muhammad and Ali Muhammad wasalam, we could have been known as Muhammadis? We could have been known as Alavis. We could have been known as Fatimis. We could have been known as Hassani and Husseinis. Even though every single follower of Muhammad and Ali Muhammad alayhi salatu was salam, we are all Muhammadis. We are all Alavis. We are all Fatimis. We are all Hassanis. We are all Husseinis. But why is it that when we go out into the world, when someone asks us who we are, why is it that we say that we are Jafari? We are linked with Imam Jafar Sadiq Throughout the world, when someone says that we are Jafari, we proudly raise our heads and we say, Alhamdulillah, we are the followers of Imam Jafar Sadiq Why is it that we are known as Jafaris? This is the azmat and the fazilat of Imam Jafar Sadiq It is our Iman and Yaqeen that after the Holy Prophet of Islam to Imam Mahdi Ajjal Allahu Faraj Sharif Every single Imam that we have, Abduluna Muhammad, Ausutuna Muhammad, Akhuruna Muhammad, Wakulluna Muhammad. Every single Imam that we follow, every single Imam that we believe in, they are all like the Holy Prophet of Islam, 
sallallahu alayhi wa alihi wa sallam. The Holy Prophet of Islam is Khatmul Anbiya. He is the seal to prophethood. There is none like him. But what is the fazilat of Ali Muhammad? Why is every single Imam is like the Holy Prophet? This is through their saying, the way they speak, the way they do the tabliq of the religion of Muhammad and Ali Muhammad. There is no contradiction from the sayings of the Holy Prophet of Islam to the sayings of Imam Mahdi Farajul Sharif. Every single saying of A'imma alayhi wasalam, they reflect the sayings of the Holy Prophet and they reflect the words of the Quran. It is the Asul of the world that when someone is trying to introduce someone, for example, we have many students and when Allah Azawajal makes a commitment to mankind when Allah Azawajal wanted to spread the religion of Islam when Allah Azawajal wanted the knowledge to be spread throughout the world Allah Azawajal chose his representatives and the first Representatives of Allah Azawajal on this world are the prophets of Allah Azawajal. From Adam to Hazrat Muhammad Mustafa, every single prophet, he is a representative of Allah Azawajal on this dunya, on this world. They spread the true image of Islam. And after the prophet of Islam, Sallallahu alayhi wa alayhi wa sallam Only those had the authority to represent Allah Azawajal to represent the Holy Prophet of Islam Only those who were chosen by Allah Azawajal So Allah Azawajal chose his representatives and this silsila, this line of imamat started after the Holy Prophet but then again, the same question is that why is it that we are known as Jafari? We see that in the time of the Holy Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wa Alaihi Wasallam, the Quran was revealed. The words of Allah Azawajal were revealed to mankind. But the Holy Prophet of Islam Sallallahu Alaihi Wa Alaihi Wasallam did not have enough time to tell people the full tafsir of the Quran. This is why the Holy Prophet of Islam Sallallahu Alaihi Wa Alaihi Wasallam in a famous narration says that every single word of the Quran has two meanings. There is an apparent meaning of the word of the Quran. And there is a spiritual meaning of the word of the Quran. And this is why the Holy Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wa Wasallam says that I am leaving you behind two things. The word of Allah, the Quran, and my blessed family, the Ahlul Bayt Alayhi Salatu Wasalam. The Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wa Wasallam clearly taught us that if after Rasulullah we want a further understanding of the Quran, then we need to turn towards Ali Muhammad wasalam. So this silsila of Imamat continued after Rasulullah. And history clearly tells us that in the time of Amir al Mu'manin Ali ibn Abi Talib wasalam, Imam Ali wasalam, was under so many sanctions and this is a reality of history that even though people try to hide the truth the truth is that Imam Ali wasalam, was under a lot of pressure 
Same in the time of Imam Hassan al-Mushtaba, in the time of Imam Hussein al-Islatu wassalam. And this silsila of Imamat continued. And when the time of Imam Jafar al-Sadiq alayhi wassalam came, Imam Sadiq alayhi salatu wassalam continued the work, continued the university of which the foundations were set by Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. And in each times of the Imams, after Rasulullah, Imam Ali, Imam Hassan, Imam Hussein, Imam Zainul Abideen, each Imam continued this university. But when the time of Imam Sadiq wassalam, came, Imam was able to open the doors of knowledge for the people. Even though Imam Sadiq wassalam, was also restricted to what he could say, to what he could do. But it is when we see that in the time of Imam Sadiq wassalam, the doors of knowledge, the university of Muhammad Mustafa sallallahu alayhi wa sallam flourished. It opened, the doors of knowledge opened for the people. And we see that in the world today when we see that so many people are followers of Imam Jafar Sadiq alayhi salatu wassalam, even those that say that we have our own Imams, they are either directly or indirectly students of Imam Jafar Sadiq alayhi salatu wassalam. So it is apparent for us that when Allah Azawajal wants to introduce something to us, when Allah Azawajal wants to give us something, when Allah Azawajal wants to show us the importance of something, it is always introduced through something which has importance. Like going back to Hadith Kisa, the Azmat of Sayyida Tahira, Salamullah Alayha, was shown to the angels, was shown to the world through Hadith Kisa by Allah saying that it is Fatima underneath the cloak. And this is the azmat of Imam Jafar Sadiq that even though time has passed, till today we are known as Jafari. Why? Because a lot of work a lot of doors to knowledge were open in the time of Imam Jafar Sadiq And Alhamdulillah, we are those that can raise our heads and say that we are Jafari because we know that every single word of our Imams, they reflect the true teachings of Khatimul Anbiya. They reflect the true teachings of the Qur'an. And Alhamdulillah, this is the reason why till today, when it comes to saying who we follow, we are never scared in saying that we are Jafari. We look at the teachings of Muhammad and Ali, Muhammad alayhi salatu wasalam, that the main purpose of us wanting to be successful in this dunya is so that we can get close to Allah Azawajal, so that we can get close to Ali Muhammad The ayat which I have recited in front of you from the Quran, from Surah al tawbah Verse number 119, Allah Azawajal says in the Quran, Ya ayyuhalladheena amanuttakullaha wa koonu ma'as sadaqeen. O oh, you who believe, have fear of Allah Azawajal. Have fear of God. 
and always be with those who are truthful. Every single ayat of the Quran, every single verse of the Quran, we see that Allah Azzawajal is talking to those that have faith. Ya ayyuhalladheena amanu, all those who believe, all those who have faith. Faith in who? Is our faith complete by just saying La ilaha illallah? Is our faith complete by just saying Muhammad Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam? This is where we find the saying of the Holy Prophet of Islam in which the Holy Prophet says that O oh people if you want your faith to be complete if you want your religion to be whole, then have the love for Ali Muhammad in your hearts. Allah Azawajal in return is asking for nothing more than the love of Ali Muhammad And by just having the love of Ali Muhammad, is that sufficient for us? to be successful in this dunya and to be with those that will enter paradise on the day of judgment not just by having love is enough we see that truth to speak the truth is a part of our soul no matter what we do no matter where we go we need to be with those that speak the truth because the soul of the universe is based upon telling the truth. And this is brought to us by the teachings of Ali Muhammad wasalam, Imam Zainul Abadeen wasalam, in Dua'i Mukarram al Imam Zainul Abadeen wasalam, is saying, that, O oh Allah Azwajal, O oh Lord, grant me the strength to speak and act truthfully. Every single dua of Aimma Alayhi Salatu it is to educate us. Like I said, that every single Imam after Rasulullah, every single Imam spread Islam, gave us the knowledge through what they had available to them. We see that in the time of Imam Zainul Abideen, the only way Imam Zainul Abideen could get this knowledge to us is by du'as. And this is why every single du'a of Imam Zainul Abideen wasalam, is teaching us something. Look at this wonderful du'a from Imam Zainul Abideen. Imam says, O oh Lord, Grant me the strength to speak and act truthfully. Through it may be harmful to me and to abstain from uttering the untruth although its uttering may benefit me. What is the Imam trying to say? Sometimes when we speak the untruth, hide the truth from people, it might benefit us temporarily. But the Imam is I saying that say in the long run, if you want to cover one lie, that untrue thing that you lie. have said, and then this it will continuation of telling lies continues by telling a lie over a lie over a lie. And there is nothing stopping you. So the Imam is telling us that always speak the truth and Allah Azawajal is saying that be with those who are Sadiqeen. This is our purpose in life. And someone asked Hazrat Luqman wasalam, O oh, Luqman, tell us what is the perfect person? How do you become the perfect person, the perfect man? Look at the golden words of Hazrat Luqman. Hazrat Luqman says that if you want to become the perfect person, 
then always use your tongue to speak the truth. The perfect person is that person who uses his tongue truthfully. Then Hazrat Luqman says that the perfect person is that person who uses his heart to speak the truth. Who uses his body through his actions. He tells the world that he is with those who are sadaqeen. When a person speaks the truth, when a person makes his heart always speak the truth, when his soul is purified by speaking the truth, Hazrat Luqman says that then that person is a perfect person. This life that we have, it is a temporary life and it can only be filled with the zikr of Muhammad and Ali Muhammad. And I always say this, that Alhamdulillah today on this blessed platform, Imamia Mission UK, we have gathered to remember Imam Jafar Sadiq Whenever there is a Viladat or Shahadat, our purpose should be that when we attend such gatherings, we should learn from the teachings of Muhammad and Ali, Muhammad Imam Jafar Sadiq throughout the world is known as Al Sadiq. For us to say that we are Jafari, for us to say that we are followers of Muhammad and Ali Muhammad, our lives should be according to the teachings of Muhammad and Ali Muhammad. We should always speak the truth. We should always be with those that speak the truth. And this is why the Holy Prophet of Islam Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam says, moving very quickly to the Masaib, the Holy Prophet of Islam says that if you want to be with the truthful, if you want to be successful in this dunya, if you want to find success in this dunya, then look no further than Ali Muhammad Sadaqeen, in this ayat, Allah is referring to Ali Muhammad Look at the lives of Ali Muhammad. Look at how they lived amongst people, having so much authority from Allah Azawajal, they still lived simple lives with the people. Only if people understood what was the azmat of Ali Muhammad wasalam, then after the passing of Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa wasallam, these Muslims would have not brought fire to the door of Fatima al-Zahra sallamu alayha. Mu'mineen, all those watching from this platform, Imamiya Mission, today we have gathered to remember Imam Jafar al-Sadiq. Till today we are crying for the fire which was brought to the door of Fatima al-Zahra sallamu alayha. But was it the last time that these so-called Muslims brought fire to the door of Rasulullah. Allahu Akbar. Fire was brought to the door of Fatima al-Zahra. The door of Fatima al-Zahra was set alight. The door of not just Fatima al-Zahra, but the door of Rasulullah was burning and behind the door was Fatima al-Zahra. Allahu Akbar. This fire which was started after Rasulullah. O oh, Mu'mineen, O oh, those that have come to cry for Ali Muhammad, or oh, those that have come to cry for Imam Jafar al-Sadiq. This fire continued after Rasulullah. 
this came to Karbala. And we see that on the eve of 10th of Muharram, the tents of Ali Muhammad, the tents of Sayyida Zainab Salamullah Alayha, the tents of Imam Hussein Alayhi Salatu Wasalam, they were burning on the eve of 10th of Muharram. And we see that these blessed women that were left after the battle took place were moving from one tent to the other tent and the tents were set alight. Vahijaba was heard throughout these tents. Allahu Akbar. May Allah Azawajal give you no sadness other than the gham of Imam Hussein alayhi salatu was salam. But today we are crying for Imam Jafar al-Sadiq. This fire that continued from the door of Fatima came to Karbala, the tent of Sayyida Zainab was burning, but this fire continued until the time of Imam Jafar al-Sadiq al-Islam. O Mu'mineen, what do we find? That the house of Imam Jafar al-Sadiq was also set alight. But look at the musiba of Imam Jafar al-Sadiq. When the house of Imam Jafar al-Sadiq was burning, Imam Jafar al-Sadiq gathered his women. He gathered his daughters and he came into the courtyard. O Mu'mineen, water was available. Imam Jafar al-Sadiq was carrying the water and he was trying to put out this fire. A time came upon Imam Jafar al-Sadiq when he sat in one corner of his house and he began to weep and he began to look towards the sky. A companion of Imam Jafar al-Sadiq said, Oh Mola, why is it that you are crying? Are you crying that your house is burning? Imam Jafar al-Sadiq says, Oh person, I am not crying because my house is burning. I am remembering the time when in Karbala, the tents of Sayyid al-Shahda were burning. There was no one around to put out the fire. There was no water. The tents of Ali Muhammad were burning. And there was a sound of Wahijaba, Wahurbata. Inna lillahi wa inna ilayhi raji'oon. O oh Allah, for the sake of Muhammad and Ali Muhammad, accept this majlis aza in the courtyard of Muhammad and Ali Muhammad. Ya Allah, for the sake of the azmat of Imam Jafar Sadiq alayhi salatu wasalam, Bless all the team of Imam Yamishan. Ya Allah, for the sake of Imam Jafar Sadiq wasalam, we pray. Ya Allah, bless all the Mu'maneen who are helping this idara, who are watching online and contributing towards this idara. Ya Allah, hasten the reappearance of our 12th Imam, Imam Sahib al Asrib al Zaman. Bi rahmatika ya Arham al Rahimin. Allahumma. Salli ala Muhammad wa ala Muhammad.